Hi, I'm meteorologist Candace Sorensen. Well, spring officially began on Saturday, March 20th, but it was hard to tell with all the snow on the ground. No more winter weather in the forecast for the upcoming week, though. In this week in weather history, back in 1913, we were dealing with severe weather. A vicious tornado hit Omaha, Nebraska and struck during the late afternoon on Easter Sunday. In just 12 minutes, it cut a swath of total destruction five miles long and two blocks wide across the city. It killed 94 people and caused $3.5 million in property damage. Now for the, us, the rest of the week, we're looking at sunshine, and I do think we will see some warmer temperatures, thank goodness, as well. To start off the week, mostly sunny skies return. Westerly winds will kick in, bringing in warmer temperatures. We should be above normal, which is usually this time of year in the low 50s. Towards the middle of the week, we'll have another front heading our way that will bring the slight chance for some wet weather for us. Temperatures will still be around that normal mark with highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s and that may bring the chance for maybe some wet snow mixing in with some of that rain. By the end of the week though we're back to sunshine and temperatures once again warming to above that normal mark into the mid and upper 50s. Now again, the National Weather Service still holding those severe storm spotter training classes this week, and here's where they're holding those. On Monday, March 22nd at 7 p.m. at Omaha at Boys Town Music Hall in Howells, Nebraska at the Community Center. Tuesday, March 23rd at 7 p.m. in Sydney, Iowa at the High School Commons and West Point, Nebraska at the Fire Station. Wednesday, March 24th at 7 p.m. in Fremont, Nebraska at the Christensen Field Expo Hall. Thursday, March 25th at 6.30 p.m. in Seward, Nebraska at the Civic Center and in Trainer, Iowa at the Fire Station. And Saturday, March 27th at 1 p.m. in Lincoln, Nebraska at Hardin Hall. I'm meteorologist Candace Sorensen. I hope you have a great week.